Okay, so I was just running through uh, everything and just checking uh, all the bits we're going to fit together for the next stage. Uh, I put in these two little upright spaces here, uh, all carbon fibre again, and then this uh, is the next plate up, uh, and this is the front. I've put it round so the camera's looking at the front, and I'm looking at it basically upside down. Uh, when you put that in, it's really nice and solid. I'm uh, quite pleased with the way that's going to go, and then we add another layer on the top, and the battery's going to sit in this area. Uh, and I just thought I'd try the power distribution board and it doesn't fit. Uh, there's no way you can get this, the one they supply, uh, to fit into here. I mean, if I just overlay it there, you can see it goes way past where the um, little upright uh, spaces are. So um, without doing a lot of modding and everything, I'm not particularly, uh, this looks a very basic board anyway. I have actually went for a, a Matek mini power hub. I put a a link down in the description um, this is going to be a much better board to use uh, because it also uh, puts it out for for cameras as well um, so it puts out a five volt as well uh, which is, is handy if I want to move on with adding anything else to it the only thing you have to make sure is that we put it around the right way uh, which would be that way because um, we're going to have the battery lead come out that's another thing that I've replaced on it uh, this is a, a more heavy duty one and then it it's an XT60 as well, um, so I'm just going to uh, solder that onto there as well. We need to pre-tin all these, uh, but, but now I know that's going to fit in there, no trouble at all. We can move on to the next bit of actually the soldering and starting to get everything going together. There we go, so that's going to sit in there, no, no trouble at all. Okay, so I'm going to pre-tin the um, power distribution board. Right, we're going to solder the ESCs that they've supplied uh, onto the motor wires and uh, I'm just going to get mine all wired up and then if need be, uh, if the motors are rotating in the wrong direction, all you have to do is just swap two wires, uh, it doesn't matter what two, but any two. Uh, before I do that, I want to make sure you've put some uh, shrink wrap on, otherwise it's a a devil to get on afterwards obviously and I'm doing mine in tiger stripes obviously because I'm assuming everyone else does as well there we go and then I found the easiest way is just to hold the wires with a little clamp of some sort just hold them hold them out and apart and then just solder them together Just make sure they're tight, obviously. They're not going to come apart. I'm going to slide the uh, heat shrink up to just to protect the connection so we don't get any shorts. Um, obviously, bear in mind it's carbon fibre, so you do have uh, it is conductive. So uh, if these cables touch down, you're going to wind up getting a short. We don't want that. There we go. And um, I'm not going to heat them up. Um, I shrink them on until I actually run it all through made sure the motors are going in the correct direction if not I can just slide them back and just swap a couple of cables over like I say so you just do the other three the same way we, I did show you on the first one and then this is the front of the quad so when we go to put in the power distribution board I want to make sure that the battery terminals are out the back and I've pre-tinned them all even though I did struggle on camera <laughs> much easier when to solder not on camera I found out so I may well do the rest of the soldering off camera but I explain what I'm doing basically I'm going to uh, solder the uh, a battery connection on there and then each of the ESCs is going to come in obviously into its own area uh, to get the power off the board Okay, so finally, um, can't say it's something I'm proud of this soldering on here. It's pretty bad. Um, in my slight defense, I couldn't find my solder, so I just grabbed some other stuff, but I'm pretty sure it just might be silly putty by the way it's gone together. It will not solder right. I don't know what on earth's wrong with it, but uh, I have checked uh, with the magnifying glass and had a really good look around. None of the bits are overlapping, so um, 
it's yeah <laughs> a blind man might be glad to see it but he might be relieved not to as well anyway carrying on with the build so we've rammed up with everything all wired in as you can see and uh, I've just put some uh, Velcro strips around uh, the center here, the center hole. If you put a big lump of Velcro, it's just gonna be sticky coming through from the bottom. And then I've just put a pad of Velcro on the, uh, under the um, power distribution board. And then just simply that can slot in and out. And if I do need to make any adjustments, I can do. Uh, but that's going to hold that pretty solid. And then it's just basically fitting this all around. I mean, uh, if you thought my soldering was bad, this is going to be a right dog's dinner, I think, to uh, put this together. Um, I'm feeling, you know, when you move the cables around and everything, it does seem to sort of sit in a sort of comfortable way, if that's an expression you possibly would use. Um, and the more you sort of play around with it, the better it seems to just slot in. So it's eventually getting quite neat. I might bring this forward just a little bit so I can get the other ESCs in there. Uh, and basically, that's the way I'm looking at doing it anyway. So as you can see, it's, it's quite a fiddle to get everything in the right place. And uh, another option would be you could leave the ESCs out on the arms. Um, that would leave them slightly um, more likely to damage, I would have thought. Uh, but it might well be a, a way I wind up doing it. I don't know. But that, that seems to have gone together pretty good like that. Um, roughly, anyway. So that's that. And next thing I'm going to do is carry on building the frame. Bearing in mind that we do, we will have to swap these wires. These aren't actually done up as yet and been heat shrinked yet so there will be wires to change there as well when we actually run it through and give it a test and the other thing you might have noticed is I've actually numbered all the uh, leads out from the uh, ESCs uh, one to four and it's one two three four so this would be in the front of the quad uh, and that way I can set it up when I go into open pilot um, that's the way it will run in there and then it's just nice and easy I can't get these confused when they're all wired up and through and they're in a little bundle you know won't know which one is which to try and trace it back wouldn't be good so uh, just something I picked up uh, a little tip somebody uh, put out on the web um, I've also put as you may have noticed a JST in uh, that's for the camera um, and I'm just going to probably feed that up through there once I get the other bit of frame built. And I'm now going to start building the rest of the frame because this is in situ. Everything else is, is pretty much getting there. Mm -hmm. 